Hi guys, Ginger Cook here. I want to welcome you to Acrylic Painting Monday where we're going to be doing something for the Canadians because it's Thanksgiving in Canada today. So I want to wish you Happy Thanksgiving. Isn't that right, John? Happy Absolutely. Absolutely. Happy Thanksgiving. We're going to be doing a cornucopia and I think that will be fun. I've never painted one of those before. We'll do it together. Some lucky uh, soul who is watching our live broadcast and if they enter, we'll have a chance to win the painting I'm doing tonight. But uh, we'll also show you where how you can paint it, too. And as I'm painting it, we'll give you some great, uh, marvelous tips that maybe you hadn't thought about. Maybe you need to re-remember. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes, the queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Okay, Ginger, um, you, you, you want me to re-remember? Don't I have to remember before I can re-remember? Well, so it's, it'll be new for some people, but since we're, you know, acrylic painting, has so, there's lots of things to know. Oh, and there is. sometimes I, I, I find myself repeating things over again because I understand that I may have said it a few times, but in we the overload of information, you may have forgotten, so you re-remember. Re <laughs> You just, you, you knew it for a while. I mean, my brother, for instance, back when he was trying to show me how computers work, this was back in 1990, he'd moved down to Texas, and he was living with us, and um, he'd say things like, I, I'd ask him how to do something on the computer, and he'd say, I told you yesterday. I'm going, yeah, okay, so it's yesterday, this is today, okay? A whole new, I have new brain cells I mean, I don't know, it's, what does that mean, I told you yesterday? It means nothing. So... <laughs> So that's, and I get that for, uh, for certain subjects, you know, I, I sometimes you can hear something, you grasp it immediately, and other times you have to think about it for a while, how it will percolate in your brain. You have to re-remember it. Got to re-remember it. And sometimes, <laughs> I'll tell you an interesting thing, sometimes you have to learn something and then just kind of step away from it, try, you know, maybe try a different type, you know, like a lot of times we do impressionistic painting. Maybe if you're doing impressionistic painting, you'll maybe want to go to realism. We have all these different styles because... It kind of tricks your brain into learning stuff, and when it, you start to get a little foggy, uh, you know, pick a different style. If you're doing a landscape, pick a pick a still life, that kind of thing. Um, keep the little cells moving up there. As, as, uh, Absolutely. As Doc, uh, who was that? Um, Perot used to say, "My little cells are." See, <laughs> see the see the little hand going. Ch -ch -ch -ch. You know, that's that's what you want to do. Yes, Absolutely. And yes. Hey, uh, happy Thanksgiving to our Canadian friends. And thank you for letting you use, let us use the word Canada or Canadian in our title. YouTube seems to like that when we do that for whatever reason. Yeah, and I'm getting the last of my white paint out of here in this particular tube. I have other tubes, but oh, that's go. good. It's kind of a mess how I put it out. But if you'll notice, I have some paint put out, all the colors, because I wasn't sure. This is going to be our um, here's our reference photo, the cornucopia, and we're going to art art arty up this up a little bit. So, uh, is that really a term? Just asking. That's my term. <laughs> then it's a term. So it must be so, right? <laughs> got to be. I said so. Must be so, <laughs> darling. So, and I have a choice of um, all these different. Someone asked me the other day. It was so cute. They wrote and said, "Where did you get all this colored paper? This is <laughs> this is real canvas. It comes white, and they come in tablets of ten. So how many tablets is that when you look at this? Right? What like forty? And oh, what, whenever we have leftover... Those are in order. Oh, they're in order? Sorry. <laughs> um, whenever we have leftover paint, um, we, uh, like after a lesson or something, or we're shooting a tutorial, John just covers another canvas. And, and uh, look at all these great colors. Isn't that fun? I mean, I love this. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We're, we're having the sound... Because the sound got redone again. So hold on a second. We, we gotta, have no sound? No, we do. We have to mix it, though. We have to put them on together. Okay, now we should have both sides. All right. Let like me... I was only talking out for one side of my mouth. You can only hear me over here. <laughs> on yeah. this side of my yeah. mouth over here. I, I think we, I I think we got right it here? now. I think we, okay, go ahead. 
What is it with you and sound? It's you know that, every third that, video. That is, that is it's like your nemesis. That, sound. Everybody, everybody on YouTube has sound issues. We've all got video down. That's a that's a piece of cake. But sound, mm. I'm telling you, baby, it defies us. It defies us. Well, all right, sound will be in both ears now. All right, so I'm thinking um, probably you you guys guessed it. I think we'll do sort of a we'll do like a, a oh. Let's do a dark brown. I that's, thought so. That's pretty that's why safe. I had it on the top. Yeah, so that's pretty safe. But I, I like to show you all the. And I just want to assure you, these are Paramount canvases. You can buy them at Jerry's Artorama. You know, the other thing you can do too, is that you know you could buy canvas that's pre gessoed by the yard, and you know you might do the math and see if at some point it's less money to just buy a yard and cut it. I did the math on buying a bigger tablet and cutting them down to six by eight. Yeah. It's still cheaper to buy the six by eight. Still cheaper to buy. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, back when I was working, uh, uh, teaching at Jerry's Art of Rama in Houston some years ago, and you could buy like all different kinds of canvas by the yard. It depend. It they sell it by weight. Yeah. You know, like thread count and how heavy it is, and um, I couldn't see how that would be effective. And it certainly isn't effective to buy a yard of canvas at the fabric store and then gesso it. That's just a total waste of time. So really, this is probably one of the better deals. If and you're it's good to have six by eights on hand just to try something, you know, try a new technique, or you want to do something before you do it on your big canvas. Yeah, like for instance, I want to show somebody something. Can I show them this? I don't know. What is it you're going to be like, showing? Like the big, big six. Oh, sure, called? absolutely. What, yeah, all let's right, go ahead. Let's why we're going to do that right off the bat. We're before doing we even get going. We're doing the. Um, you know, I'm always making new artwork. For, and you know. And um, while we're doing the cornucopia tonight, I just wanted to show you, this is a German church, and um, I did this full size, and I had to think about it a little bit, because I hadn't done it small, and, and I love how it came out, but I wish I'd have done a quick sketch of it small first, I just wish I'd done that, though, because it took, it took me a little longer to think about it. But anyway, that's coming up soon in our academy. As Probably a, uh, November time, sometime. Sometime in November, just wanted to share that with you, I thought it was way cool. Wanted to share that with you. Okay, so now let's let's uh, we've got we've got all this. Uh, this is the Salvador paint, and um, we'll be giving them a set away today. And somebody will want a set of this paint too, with the twelve brushes that comes with it, and uh, other stuff. Um, other goodies. And then the the labels that you see. Let me turn this right side up. Right side up. Here you go. <laughs> is that uh, these are Avery labels that people normally think of as address labels or something. And what you can do is uh, you can go to the, the um, go to our website, Ginger Cook Store. No, gingercooklive.gallery, and scroll on down and hit oh. store. <laughs> Everything is now can be found from our one website. You don't have to you don't have to go anywhere. Just go to gingercooklive.gallery, scroll on down the main page, and you'll see Ginger Cook Store. Click on that, then go to products, and you will find uh, where you can then get the free t uh, template for this. And then you just can even put the word label. Just put the word label in the search, and you'll yeah, have. Yeah, if you put yeah, put the word label in the search, right you'll up. find it. So that's I, I think if, so people had asked us about that, and uh, so now we have it. You see there. So we have some colors, and we've got our corn of copia here, and we're going to do. You know what? I don't have is some colored paper, John. Underneath oh my! This. That yeah. was uh, that, that that was uh, Chester's job. And I want to just we're going to do the uh, the old. Um, uh, that won't work folding trick here okay this works on any size canvas if you do this it doesn't matter what it is you just find half and find half you know find the half right so um, if I were to do that on this canvas let me take a little bit of a how's yellow sound for right now because I don't know what my gray patch hat was it yeah yellow's fine that's that's fine that's pr sort of pretty actually isn't it well, I thought so well okay so where did that do you have a ruler over there? Oh, here's one. So, all right, so this is a six by eight. I just want you to see this real quick, how you do this. If you will do this with everything, you'll be so much happier. I mean, I can't promise some um, riches and and uh, publishers clearing out, out your door or um, your kids will speak to you again. But trust me, if you're painting, if you grit a little bit, it'll make you happier, all right? How's that? That'll work. So, um, you know... Happiness is, is all relative, and I can't speak to your relatives, but I can kind of... Oh, I saw how you did that. That was good. <laughs> did you like that? Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I'm just saying, right? Um, this, this is, is the famous two-line grid. This is the famous, Ginger's famous two-line grid. At least do this much, you guys. At least do this much. So what do we know for sure, right? That this isn't half. We know that. What, what happened here? All right, this is about half right there. 
Okay, Somebody's good enough. You're All sliding. Right. Well, it's slid. That's right. So I can see that this this part of my cornucopia is in. Here's the halfway point here, right? So there's this. Um, triangle right, bait. right there is just a little tail's coming up like that. Okay, and it's coming this way, and then right here's the up. Uh, here's this up and down thing. So you see where the the curve is happening here. Yes and yes. So there's the the curve of it, and that's really all you um, see. And then the, then there's kind of stuff inside it. Yeah, like there's like a big apple here, and there's a, something else here, and maybe a pear, and there's some really pretty sunflowers. Like this, you know. There's some stuff, right? There's another little apple up here. There's something here. I don't know what all. I don't know if I'll put all of this in, but there's some apples in the middle. Um, there's some things. All right. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're doing. Fill up with your fruit. I, you know. That's that's what we've that's what we've got to. Um, um, that's what I've got to go on. Did you, did you get both references in the computer for me in the iPad? Oh, my queen of mine. Heads will roll. Heads he, will he roll. All right. So I'm thinking that um, I don't like this background back here. I just think that, think that's very pretty. And, um, you know, the reason I haven't done a cornucopia before is because I've been looking for years. And the joke, the standard joke is I don't like what they put in them. You know, and I don't know if I was doing a cornucopia maybe because my mother did them and we just did them differently. What kind of I'm pencil good. sharpener does Ginger use for her chalk pencils? Mine breaks the chalk off. Oh, this one is the best. I was watching. I, I, you know how I found it? I went on YouTube, and I found people that drew, you know, that, that taught drawing, and saw what pencil sharpeners they use, and apparently this one is the best. It's called, um, uh, let me just, it's called a, S, a School Smart. School Smart. S school Smart. That's one that was recommended by Mark Kissler to me when I got him a new one. Yeah, School Smart, and that's what the, the professional drawers We've use. We've had it for years. And I really like it. So, um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do some white paint and a little bit of blue. Probably do a little blocking in, I bet. Yeah, background. a little blocking in, and then I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue here and a little bit of turquoise blue. And then let's see, let's put a little bit of this... Um, primary cyan in with that. That's pretty. That's, that's almost like a thalo. So um, let's just come on up here like that and we'll um, we'll start with um, I, I just don't want a brown background. It's just a... Even though you chose brown. Well, yeah, but I want a brown for the cornucopia. I see. You know, that's why. And I thought it would be, you know, there's a lot of brown in this, believe it or not. I don't believe it. Well, there is. So, you know, that's, I just thought I would just do some sort of blue here. This is like the first um, layer. We'll just, we'll just chat, you guys, as I paint this. Does it sound hey, fun, right? speaking of chatting, do you know what Friday is, Miss Ginger? Oh, is Besides that Besides being the 16th? Oh, Friday? The day after my son's birthday? Uh, it's, is that our marathon where we're going to do the auction and be... Start. Yes, it is. Oh, you guys, how exciting is that, huh? I'm telling you, we're going to have another live YouTube auction starting sometime between 4 and 4.30. We haven't finalized it yet, but we'll be sure to post that on the auction site, which is gingercookauction.com. Or if you go to our, do I have a link to that yet? I bet I don't. Well, it will be on our gingercooklive.gallery. The gingercooklive.gallery has buttons and portals to everything else. We redid the we redid the you guys over the weekend. John redid the website gingercooklive.gallery. So now anywhere in Ginger's world you can get to from the main page. You can get to Pinterest. You can get to you can get to YouTube. You can get the Beginners Acrylic Academy. You can get to the Tech Bears channel. You can get to the Tech Bear channel. Community I'm, puzzle that got added. And, and then and then add the auction. Yeah, and then um, somebody had asked. Um, um, and rightly so. Somebody had asked. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I'm glad they did. Yeah. Somebody had asked asked us um, to make it a little simpler. So we did. And so when I went ahead and I did a video on how the whole thing works, and it's over there in the Tech Pair channel. It's called "Where in the World Is Ginger?" And I recommend I, I'm going to invite all our viewers to watch that because it is the it is the quintessential answer to how to find anything in our space, okay? In our space. Well, in Ginger's space. 
Yeah, where in the world is ginger? So it it just really anything from anything really it's it's absolutely wonderful. In one place you can find you can find all this stuff. Okay, so alright, we're gonna do that right now. Then we're like I say, we're kinda blocking in. So that's a good start for blocking in, yes and yes. Looking good. Alright. So that's not the final that, but that's good enough, right? Yeah, we're gonna start. take a little bit of lemon yellow and white and we're gonna say here's a Kind of a kind of a lemon yellow and white, kind of a green apple here. We're gonna start with this apple here. Let's take a little more titanium white, because that's a little transparent. We're gonna start, there's another apple right here. Okay. And um and did you add that to the did you add that? I, I did, my queen, I sent it over. It Do I need to come over and help you find it? Uh, perhaps um, I see it. Okay, all right. I got it. Got it. I, got I it, got you it. would. Got it. Got it. Okay. So um, just another little apple back. Hey, we'd like here. to thank all of the 350 plus people that showed up for tonight's wonderful show. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, do so. If you haven't given a thumbs up, please do so. It'd be great. Wouldn't that be nice if you guys gave us a thumbs up just because we've, you know, I don't know that YouTube cares, but we care. It's that we care. Phyllis In fact, they did a whole thing about thumbs up on the uh, on the internet. Do you guys know that? They did they did a whole thing. In fact, I think there's a the psychology. I think it's on Netflix. The psychology behind um, thumbs up and and the internet and so forth. And um, people have discovered that a thumbs up is very encouraging. It kind of, you know, if you think about us, we're just shouting down a tunnel out, and I know this is going out into your homes and the world, well, but we for us, we're just sitting in here talking to ourselves, really, hoping you're hearing it, yeah? Yeah, how do we really know people are really out there? So, yeah, exactly. So from that standpoint, right, um, from, from that standpoint, we're, um, well, you know, I didn't put the burn umber out. Oh, strange me. There we go. Yeah. Something that has a lot of brown in, don't burn. Didn't yeah. need it. That's how good you are. Yeah, that's all right. That's there now. Hey, Phyllis had a great question. How's the new website coming? That's at gingercookstore.com. Currently, everything that's going up there is a downloadable lesson, but that website and that style of lesson format will be our new one, hopefully the very first of the year. It's coming along slowly. But it's enough. For, but what we've got now is so terrific, you guys. What we absolutely have now Oh, absolutely. Is, bar none. It is just absolutely terrific. So, um... I'm talking to our pool guy. He just called. Oh, yeah? And I said, we're on a live, to, live YouTube show right now. He goes, well, I want to see. How do I log in? Go to YouTube and then search. We just had our pool deep redone. I'll tell you what, um, uh, we're, we were so blown away by the quality of workmanship and what happened with it for us. We just, um, I couldn't imagine anything as nice as what we got. It just, um, you know, when you, when you deal with people that really know their craft. And love what they and, do. And, and love what they do. Here's the thing, if you talk, if you see a, a singer uh, what what do they call them? Divas, you know, they can really sing like, um, you know who? Kind of like and, me. You know, but people that really sing and they make records and you know about them. And if you see an actor that, you know, gets a lot of recognition and even artists like myself, we get rec we can get recognized for what we do. But there are people out there in this world that build swimming pools. That have the skill and craftsmanship that, that these other people have, that nobody ever knows about. There's there's carpenters and people in all walks of life that have brought their skills up to that level, to the diva level of craftsmanship, that are just sort of their unsung heroes. And I want to give a shout out to our pool guys and thank them very much for what they've done so far. I'm so impressed. We are so impressed and just never imagined the, the quality that we'd get. Because I've had the swimming pool for 30 years and it was on its last little swimming pool legs. <laughs> <laughs> 
And <laughs> Indeed it was. Indeed. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. It's on its last I mean, when I got here, it was, uh, well, it was a swamp. It was, it was, a, it was, a, the fro frogs it were living a, in yeah. it. Uh, we were expecting a, well, I just figured, um, you know, uh, divorced, figuring. Um, well, I think Jose's just, on right now, so let's say hello to Jose. He's from Z and Z Pool, so if you in are Houston. in the Houston area. That's, that's the that's, that's the, the only company. place to go. Z and Z, Z pools. pools. Yeah, that's the company. You want? Pro promise you, that's there the company. There is none better. It's a family-owned business. They've been doing it for years. Over thirty. Over thirty, and the it shows. The father started it. Then the son is now taking over, and the father still works now for the son. The son yeah. worked for her dad, and now dad works for the son. Yeah, and plus it's, a bunch of other people. I mean. I tell you, I've never seen so many people. Yeah, they, they got a ton of people, and everybody is skilled at what they do. They're and specialized. They, and, and they, they know, they, they've been doing it forever, and um, it's pretty impressive. I got to say, isn't it, John? It's just so impressive. Oh, it's very impressive. You know? Um, one of the things that got me, shall I tell you what got me oh, while, please, while I'm painting absolutely. this? Well, uh, we've got, obviously, a deck, and then we've got some, well, tile, some tile next to the deck that's does the edge of the pool, and there needs to be an expansion of uh, a space there, like a little space about as wide as my little finger, that that generally caulking goes in, because it has to that because of the temperature that joint has to expand. And when I was out there, when and they were they started at eight in the morning, you know, and they were out there. Somebody was hand you know hand putting in the the um, on their hands the caulking on their hands, and he's putting in the caulking. And then another guy came around. This is a true story. Another guy came around with a little cup and fine sand, a little spoon, and he was very gently sprink <laughs> sprinkling fine sand over the grout. I'm not the oh, grout, but over, the, over that... Um, the caulking. The caulking. And later I was talking to a friend of mine, um, and I said, it's so interesting, I wonder why they did that, right? And she said, well, because um, caulking looks like caulking, you know, kind of plasticky, and you've got this beautiful grout, you know, real grout uh, with the tiles, when they when they uh, go ahead and paint the deck and paint over that, they blow most of the extra sand off. It looks like that joint has been grouted, not just put in with uh, ugly silicone. That's the that's the kind of stuff they do, and they don't think twice about it. That's what they do. The fine just, details. Just the details. The, you know, everybody says the devil's in the details, but I mean, honestly, there's there's something pretty awesome about the details in this. I got to tell you. So we're we're happy with it and. Um, uh, we just, we felt like some people, um, might, um, uh, not know about that stuff, that, you know, there's people out there, and I think that my comment about the, um, the craftsman, the extraordinary craftsman, and then, and it, in all walks of life where people have been doing stuff for years and gotten really good at what they do, you know, and you got to sell, you know, got to celebrate that a little bit. Okay. Well, we are way behind on the, uh, where I'm seeing you paint and what's being shown on my screen. Really? Yep. Hey, we have Andrew in the house. Hello, Andrew from Haiti. Oh, Andrew, hi. I was worried about you. Hadn't heard from you in a while. I'm glad and you're that's okay. That's we dropped you a note. Yeah, we dropped, dropped you a note, <laughs> you know, same word. Absolutely dropped you a note. I remember, I don't know what just, I'm curious to, about what you guys, if you remember, corner, cornucopias used to be, people uh, would, you know, you'd, you'd buy this thing and then you'd fill it with stuff for your centerpiece on your Thanksgiving table. I remember doing that. My mother um, had a, um, um, you know, we, we, you know, maybe some apples. I don't ever remember sunflowers. I don't think we had any sunflowers in Washington State. Certainly there were no sunflowers. Um. I think we, we did apples and pears and grapes, but we didn't have a horn thing. We just had a basket, a basket of fruit. Did you? Well, and we had, and I, I know she got, we, we always did grapes, and I know she went a little crazy with it. If you ate the grapes off her centerpiece, you went nuts. You know, <laughs> just don't touch the centerpiece. Well, uh, as a kid, you know, you're just trying to understand the reasoning behind all this thing. Yeah, why this would thinking, you put the food out if you're not going to eat it? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, when you're six or seven, you just find adults' ways just extraordinary. You don't really, you just, yes. um, um, it's like when, she, when we moved, you know, we moved in with them in the house, and 
she says, and this is called the rec room. And I was down there doing something to the room, kind of destroying it one day. And she says, you're ruining the room. I said, it's a rec room. Is you supposed to, aren't you supposed to wreck it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not so much. Oh, well, who knew, right? Well, why would you call it that then? You know, that was a, everybody had a rec room and a, and a picture window. Remember that? Yeah, the picture window. We had a picture window. We had two of them. The First picture floor, window. Now they just now they're just windows. Well, they don't make picture windows like that anymore. Not, not obviously. Well, no, the the building codes don't like the the waste of energy. No, no, but they are pretty. Oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're you have beautiful. Have a good view outside. They're beautiful, but yeah. um, you're right that they they don't like those anymore. Well, I'm going to tie a little carmine on this apple right here. Let's just uh, we're just chatting away, and I'm uh, this was probably a. Quite an undertaking. It's Canadian Thanksgiving for those of you who joined us late, and this was probably a fairly large undertaking to um, to but do. But we're up to the challenge. We're up to the challenge. We this is warm up for Friday's big show. We're up to the challenge. We're gonna <laughs> do it anyway, right? We we we're committed. We're committed now. This Naples hey, we yellow. Take care, we have to take care of our Canadian neighbors. Yeah. They were very hosp hospitable when we visited. Yeah. I love that blueberry pie we had when we were there. Oh, wasn't that... I mean, the drop of a hat, we were scheduled to go to one island. I don't remember where we ended up. But we couldn't get there because of the weather. So in less than 24 hours, the, the whole town comes out for us. Yeah, they, 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 we showed up and they, they all came out in a costume that people might have worn a couple hundred years ago or a hundred years ago, whatever it was, right? And made fresh pie. And made fresh pie and, and gave it away. And it was cold. It was real cold. It was the fall. It was real cold. It and wasn't they, that cold. It wasn't snow. It was cold, man. It was a fall it, trip. What do you expect it to be? I'm just saying that they sat out there the whole morning they freezing. Did. by a They had a little fire going and stuff. And they were so gracious and kind and it was really quite... Quite marvelous. Quite lovely as it was. Yeah, I, I thought so. It was just, um, it was really lovely. Yeah. And um, uh, they were just lovely. And, and, the, and we took this great tour and saw a covered bridge. And on the end, this is so cool, you guys. On the inside of the bridge were paintings that they, and, and, and you walk down each side of the bridge, they had hung artwork under glass that different people had done. And uh, that had meaning for them, and uh, they had hung these paintings up there, which I thought was sort of neat. And um, now that I'm gonna fun. just um, got a good, got a good couple of good pictures from that bridge too. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we have so many paintings to do. We really shouldn't be doing these live shows. We should be painting. Oh no, I like the live shows. Everybody likes the live shows, John. Do they? Does everybody like them? I think so. Don't you guys think? You, don't you guys like them? We don't have any thumbs down yet, so apparently we do. We have a we have a lovely um, group tonight. Yeah, it's sort of fun. So that was uh, that was fun. But I just remember that at Thanksgiving, and um, um, mother always made like um, like some sort of Jello thing. Oh yeah, you had the Jello. Oh, what was that? The um, black cherry Jello. We had black cherry Jello with something, and then there was a, some disgusting stuff called aspic. Do you remember that? that? No. Oh, that was just, just anybody else remember aspic? That was disgusting. What was it? Well, it's a type of jello, but it's it's just nasty. Well what was in it? Jello. <laughs> Jello's not nasty. Yeah, but by the time they got through it was, but just you just it just took nasty jello to a whole <laughs> new level. <laughs> it would just put you off of jello for the rest of your little little life, I'm telling you. That um Now how about pumpkin pie? You like pumpkin pie? No. I can't stand it. I, I so love pleased. pumpkin flavor, but that's the most disgusting consistency there is. Well, you know, and if you want to just, you know, train your kids how to gut fish, have them carve pumpkins, you know. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> sorry. Just. <laughs> uh, uh, do not scare us with no live show comments. We couldn't survive <laughs> this year without them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying that this was, there, there was just, um. Uh, it snowed today in Calgary. It's Thanksgiving what? snow in Calgary. Really? Calgary? That's in Canada, eh? Yeah, Calgary. They have the Calgary Stampede. Yep. We ought to go to that I sometime. would like to go to that one. See? That's one you of my bucket lists, you guys. That's a bucket list. 
Calgary said, have you ever let Americans back in Canada? We might come visit. <laughs> right? if we ever For get a while now. Just, just, you know, if we ever get to see the world again, doesn't, I'm not holding my breath here, but it, it might be nice, right? Have so, you guys heard of mini turkeys? Jane likes to know. Mini turkeys. Mini turkeys. I've heard of, um, no, not mini turkeys. No, I don't know, don't know what that. I know what that, that Louisiana Turk, Turkum, what do they call them? Turkey, Turkum? Where there's a, uh, there's a, a stuffed turkey and inside the turkey is a, is a, you put the chicken, chicken and then there's a, and then a duck and a chicken. Tur, turducken. Yeah, it's a turducken. Okay, tur, turducken, that's a Louisiana thing, but, um, I have not heard of, but, a mini, a mini turkey. That's what we need. It's only the two of us. Oh, it's a Cornish hen. Oh, come on. Oh, Cornish hens. Yeah, we used to eat Cornish game hens. Oh, they're too gamey. Well, they're kind of like kind of one-bite things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a glorified McNugget. <laughs> it's a glorified McNugget. Oh, we were watching a thing today on um, Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's amazing. And, and the story, and apparently... I, John and I will drive by Chick Chick Fil A here in Texas. If you guys don't know, it's just a like a fast food place like McDonald's that sells chicken, and the line is always around the block. And you know our Down joke was that they, they that they had to be selling something other than food in there because what would cause people to line up like that, right? I mean that was kind of the joke, okay? And um, so today we got our answer. Apparently they've got some sort of sauce. Barbecue sauce that is so amazing. No, it's a mustard sauce, mustard dressing sauce. That's so amazing. One of the independents, one of the franchise guys, they didn't have a sauce. They had no sauces for their chicken. And this guy, I don't remember who he was, he's in the East Coast somewhere, and he goes, well, my people want a sauce. So he made his own sauce. And it was a big, I mean, and then other people started asking for it. Word got out, so other states started asking for it, and the corporate said, you know, what's going on? And he goes, well, I just made, a, you know, the famous honey mustard type sauce. And they tried to duplicate it, but they could not duplicate it. They could not get the same flavor that guy got. So the guy said, I'll give it to you. He gave him the recipe. Yeah, he did, which was pretty sweet, wasn't it? Yeah. So apparently it's, it's, it's all in the sauce. So I have to go the, the, buy the, now and, and get it, the sauce. The, now and apparently it's got like 100, you know, it's got, a, I'm not, not going to quote the calories because I don't know, but apparently oh, it's 140. got some sort of huge amount of calories. Yeah, 140 in this little baby packet of like sauce. this big, but apparently it is the thing to have, right? So I, I guess I'm gonna have to go buy, get a chicken sandwich, and get some of that sauce. It's gonna be like ten of them. It'll but take me a while that, to figure that, it out. Apparently that is the. Um, that would be fun a, to do, though. That's, but we couldn't figure it out. I mean, I we've got to be selling drugs or something. I have no idea. It was the, just, it, it got to be a joke because all the other restaurants, um, you know, they've got people. Sure, once but in a while. But nothing like that. Nothing like that, right? No. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose it's getting colder in the north. I haven't heard from my boy yet. He apparently it's not snowing up there yet. No, huh? Not yet. It's October. We had October snow. I think it was like in October. It usually rains on his birthday. We were supposed to go golfing when he was born. Rotten kid. But I guess he knew it was going to rain. So um, that this there you go. There's um. That's a good looking apple. Thanks. Uh, kind of kind of fun, right? It's an interesting. Do you um, have any questions here? I should be paying attention to. I don't know. We're just having fun. We're having fun chatting with you guys tonight. Um, I, I want more of a gray blue in the sky than I've got here. So um, let's let's work on that a little bit while this is drying. So let's try. So if you want, to, if you have blue and you want to gray it, uh, the complement of blue is is orange. So let's put a little of that color in there. And I want it a little bit more smoky. Let's try a little bit of the purple. Uh, and a little bit of, let's try a little bit of red in it, see what we get. What red is that? That's carmine. Ah, uh, that's um, a nice color of theirs. Yeah, it is. It's sort of a nice color. Again, I we're just using wanna... the uh, Salvador paint kit. That's 20... a little bit too gray. Uh, I was going to say so that. So just a little bit too gray. So I feel like Goldilocks here painting all this, but... Let's do. Let's try this. I want a little bit something darker up in here. I think what we need is let's take a little bit of the of the uh, Salvador white because it's it's more translucent. And let's just take this brush here and 
There we go. I want it something a little bit lighter. I will take a... It's uh, cold and raining in northeast PA. That's Pennsylvania for those that don't know. Is it? Yes. Hey, we have oh. an international group, you know. Well, we do. Um, I just wanted a little bit more of this sort Today of... Today was uh, the season's lowest temp of 56. That's Big Al. I think he's in... It was nice he's here in, in Houston. The area. air conditioner's still on in Houston. I hate to oh, tell yeah. you guys that air conditioner. It was still 85 or 87 today. Yeah. Still, still. Um, see, that's kind of nice. This white in the kit is a little more translucent. It's more like a mixing white. It's a little stronger than a mixing so, white. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of half and half, right? Yeah. So, it's um, I just it's a nice, you know, it has its purpose. Just so not I mean, really what they see where we for. We can see where we kind of lighten some stuff up here a little bit. Low 50s in Mass. That's Massachusetts. Again, we're all on the east. Yeah, let's do a little bit more of this turquoise in here. There we go. Oh, yeah, I was in New York. That's where he is. Yeah, I, th I thought so. Yeah, I couldn't in remember. New Andrew, if you guys don't know, we, we were giving a shout-out to Andrew. He's in... Um, Haiti. He's in Haiti. It's always sunny in Haiti. John, will you post the October Challenge picture, please? Pretty please do it now. You know, I was ready to do that, and then the Queen came up and said, we need to do a newsletter, which is going to go out Sunday. I'm going to tell you now, we're going to get back on the newsletter, and it's going to be a real newsletter, not an announcement. With tips and everything. And they're going to go out on Sundays, because that's when everybody likes to see them, because that's what the chart says. But she goes, we need to do this. And I said, okay. I'm well, we did the, the newsletter, and also we needed to do something about the website. And then she goes, I need something to be done about the website. And I go, well, I'm working on the new one. She goes, I don't care about the new one. The old one needs fixing. <laughs> Yeah, let's, said, let's yes, my give, give me a grip here. Do, do and the, so the whole stuffy staff got redirected by the Queen's orders. That's right. Which is fine. We d diligently worked on it all weekend long, and now we're trying to get back to the news site and get the newsletter out. And, you know, I need more staff. Yeah, it's just it's just a, we're, we're a two-man band here with, with his son in, in um, Michigan. So maybe a three-man band with some help. But... So. Um, Okay, so, so yeah, I'm, I, I promise. I, I'm not going to promise. I hope to. I'm trying to decide what to give you guys. Why don't you let me pick it out this time? I can make a decision this afternoon and have it and have it out on the website tomorrow. I'll tell him what to put. Just put me in charge. You're busy. Yeah. <laughs> so she sits here, goes through my photographs. Says, here, do this one. Do it now. Yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll take care of it. You guys just... Yeah, it'll you take know. you, what, 10 minutes to find one, and it take me five hours to get it up there. Yeah, but still, somebody has still, to make a decision, yeah, Somebody right? has to make that decision. It somebody, might as well be the queen. That's right. So it'll so. be queen's pick this for October. Yeah, okay. Then, because 98 remember, degrees in Arizona. It's finally well, under 100. Well, are you just trying to beat <laughs> us now? Just Is this a contest? I didn't know it was a contest, Arizona. <laughs> we need to move our pool out there so we can use it now that it's all cleaned up. Yeah. We'll take it with us. Yeah, there we go. So, um, how about somewhere in, an, in another part of the world? Anybody else out there outside of Canada and the U.S.? Yeah, what, what do you guys got? How about somebody from down under? It's their spring, it'll be warm down there. This is their white and um, um, and that, that soap green color. Oh, your favorite green color. Yeah, well, no, no, this is soap green. It's a really nice dark green. It's a, kind of a German kind of Loden green, you know? Oh, that's right. That's, that's, it's kind of neat like that. And um, as opposed to, oh, well, I don't know what that means, kind of neat like that, as opposed to other things that aren't neat. But I'm going to just tap this on in this gourd. This is a gourd back here. I feel like if you have to tell people what it is, you probably should have written a book. But um, <laughs> in case you don't know what it is and don't recognize it, it's a gourd. All right, that, that's fair, it's right? It's too impressionistic. It's too impressionistic because we're, you, you know, we're taking a little license with this, yeah? You can see that we are, right? A little bit of license with this, um, with this picture. It's a hot spring day here in Wollongong, Australia. Where is Wall? No, that's no, not Wall. It's W-O-L-L-O-N-G-O-N-G. G-O-N-G, -G. G -O -N -G. Gong, Long. Wool, wool, long gong. <laughs> I'm sure on that one, but Australia's got it. It's, it's warm today. Well, that's nice. Good for them. 
this is a titanium white here, just on the brush, and we're gonna. John, please let Ginger speak. No, that won't happen. She's speaking. Send some warm weather to us up north. Not ready for the cold yet. Mm, I remember that time of year. All right, there's this weird little gourd. I mean, you know, um, we used to buy these those things, but we bought them for um, decoration. Nobody ate those things, did they? No. Certainly not. No, they were decor They were decorative gourds. Yeah, they, they, they had would... bubbles all over them. Yeah, and yeah. then there was like this. Um, yeah. So I mean, this is sort of. Well, it's different, right? Yes and yes. The last hurricane that came through that hit Louisiana, we had no rain at all from that one. We got nothing. It's a little orange. I'll tell you what, one thing about the Salvador paints, you guys, for under $25, and even less if you use the coupon, right? Yeah. They've got all the colors here. You don't have to mix anything. You just put them on. You need a color. It's very satisfying. It's all ready to go. You don't have to mix any bright oranges or small oranges or do any of this stuff, right? You've got um, uh, just add another. Remember, when you're doing apples, do, do layers. You know, want to do layers. And um, but I've got like this vermilion is a very bright red. There's a couple little cherries here. What are something? Whatever they are, cranberries maybe. I don't know. Then there was some other stuff. There's not a lot of room to put stuff, so not that I'm complaining, but I'm just expressing a, a common, you know, thing. There's not a lot of room to put everything that in this little picture, everything that's in the in the photograph. So we're we're doing selective editing, leaving which, out the vegetables and fruits that we don't like. Well, yeah, you are. I know you are. Well, maybe, <laughs> but you know, just don't hey, tell too soon. Hey, we have a new soon. Ecuador individual. Karen from Ecuador. I'm in Ecuador, about three miles south of the equator, and it's cool in the in the cloud forest in the 50s. We're in Ecuador. I like Ecuador when I went there. It was a nice country. Now those were nice people. A lot of good places in the world. See how we started to put highlights, and you just have to get, um, like for instance, this Naples yellow deep is really pretty. And I had another one that was, was a light one, too. What's this one? Naples Yellow Lemon. That was this. What was, was I another yellow? Maybe it was this one. The Naples Yellow Red. The combination of those two. That's really pretty. That's nice for this apple right here. Coming around the outside of this apple. Did you notice earlier, Ginger has about a two-second hot mess, then her looks so good so fast. You know how a painting always goes through the hot mess? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. You get you, you do get that um, sort of hot, hot mess. Um, well, it just looks like I'm ready to throw this out, but you don't because you know better. John, can you ask Ginger if we can paint children playing hockey outside on an ice rink? As opposed to, uh, um, well, I think you should paint that if you want, but you want... Yeah, if you it. want hockey, but I would you, definitely do it on ice rink. Uh, yeah, just a, yeah. I think they're asking for the Queen's permission for them to be able to paint that. Well, I think maybe they want a tutorial. In, in my well, that's not what they said. Can oh. we paint children? I think they're asking for your permission, Queen. Well, sure. Go ahead. You have the Queen's permission. Um, the thing about, uh, you know, if we did something like that, right... And um, I suspect that's a viewer from Canada because that's hockey is their national sport, right? I don't know. It's Gwen. I don't think. No, Gwen. No, I don't think she's Canadian. Oh, I'm surprised. I don't believe so. Really? Really. No, huh? The amount of colors Ginger has out gives me anxiety. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Well, I can see that. It's the, it's the, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you just go off of that, right, you know that that's true, right? You need to keep chasing your tail. Yeah, just uh, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. and You know, you don't have to have detail on everything. But, you know, you've got... Um, oh, Gwen is Canada. Yep, you're right. She's Canadian. Well, you have yeah. permission, Gwen. Go ahead and paint it. Yeah. She's going to smack you, John. <laughs> 
you got to find me first. Yeah, I can. Yeah, okay, that's true. She's got to right. find you first, right? Um, all right, well, I can. All right, so we're still we're still doing stuff over here. That's sort of fun. So any, I would, I, you know, the thing to answer your question about that. Um, that's a very complicated painting. When you start putting kids paint playing, you know, hockey and stuff like that. That is a very complicated painting. So that that's hours of tutorials. Yeah, that's, that's a so tutorial. So that would one. have to be an academy tutorial. And to be honest with you, when we take, well, if I've got hours to do on a tutorial, what um, what we have to decide is how many people you know, of all our members would be interested. Like, we've got a few cars, but not a lot of them. Does that make sense? We did one tractor that flopped. And um, so that's one of the things that John and I have to consider when we're thinking about painting anything like that is... Um, uh, what's the appeal? What's the appeal for the, for the, for the most people? And that's... Um, we always want suggestions because you never know. You may have the suggestion of the day, right? Now, if you are an Academy member. And you find it, find a nice photograph and you want to paint it, then you can send it in and help me for PAC, and we can talk about yep. you know, how, how to make it, right? And PAC is? Personal Art Coaching. And which that's is available in what category? And that would be in your senior membership there. There you go. The Senior Academy, JunjaCookLive.gallery. Yeah. So that's the. Um, so that's you know it's not to say that you know it, it like we said it's not going to be a very popular item with our group. We don't, at least we don't think. I guess we'll hear. But um, not to say you can't do it if you're an academy member. Do it as an original and she'll help you do it. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to. Now this is interesting. You see how light this orange is? I want it. It's going to go over the dark red, and it's not going to look that light. It's no, a, it, it, it is. It's going to. It's going to make just a brighter red. A lot of people think that when you need to brighten a red, that you should use white. But if you use a cad red, that will brighten. That can brighten a red, and be very very effective. There's a little something yellow down here. I don't know. I guess they were some. Uh, um, somethings. There were little somethings. How about a space rocket to Mars? Um, Don't think that's so. The, you, that's a tractor item. Um, somebody's actually asking for that or did you yes. make that up? No, I did not make that up. You're sure? No, I'd say a tractor to Mars. Oh, okay. All right. You sure you didn't make that up, right? <laughs> nope. No, right there. Capital letters. Space rocket to Mars. Well, okay. So people hate us. All right. That's all right. <laughs> Okay, so um, I think this is this is looking nice. Well, it's sort of different, right? Yeah. Um, I think it looks very festive. It's festive, right? We'll just keep playing and talking to you guys because um, there's nothing on TV right now, so <laughs> we'll just go <laughs> well, chat with you, right? Yeah, you know, to do. It's not quite dinner time. So it's what not the quite heck? dinner time, and <laughs> you and I are getting together, and we're doing this. So let's. let's hey, again, don't forget. This. Mark your calendar. Set your alarms. Friday. Mark it for 4 o'clock p.m. Central Time. We're going to start our auction piece. The Queen guarantees, what do you guarantee, 12 pieces? Yeah, we'll do 12 pieces, and they'll well, start little 6 by 8s. 6 by 8, 12 pieces that will and then, be put then on you'll, the you'll win then. You'll, you'll be able to buy them then, you know, win the auction then. You won't have to wait for, um, you gonna, know, it, it's, it, it'll be, it'll. The, we run yeah. it for a week, boss. We run it for a week? Well, yeah, because a lot of people can't watch it live. No, well, okay, for... but it's pretty quick. Yeah, it is. It's not a normal month-long one. Yeah, it's pretty quick, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, we give people enough time to at least see it. Okay, like we can do that, right? And. Um, and we'll have them described. We have the we have the um, references picked out, don't we, boss? Yeah, sort yeah. of. So we'll have descriptions on the website with no pictures because we don't know what they're actually going to look like by the time the queen is done with them. 
but we'll get that going. If you do want to participate in that, we suggest that you apply or uh, create your account beforehand because that is a secure site and I have to approve the people that come in because we get a lot of, which I have no idea why, riffraff coming to that website. You know, just people that want to Two see white long, long neck ducks walking down a country road. Just um, smoking cigars, or just what are they doing, <laughs> right? Just... They're on their way to the bar. Are they on their way to the bar? Can we auction one off in the chat for fun? Oh, I don't know. Susan, now that, that does sound like fun. I might have to look through my repertoire of what we might be able to do that with. Yeah, we could just do Just a live one that goes out that night. That, that sounds kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, absolutely. What a great idea, right? Okay, you say it's a great idea. I have to think of the logistics of how to handle this, boss. Oh. You always go, yeah, this is good. Let's do this. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it, you guys see how the, the fruit's kind of coming along here? Because I'm not trying, I'm trying to just kind of phase it out over here and not talk too much about certain things. Because we can't put everything in. Oh, my goodness. I mean, let's just come back here. You know, we Look got peppers that. and we got, I'm not putting all that, right? Well, you well, could. She doesn't but like the peppers. I knew those wouldn't get in there. <laughs> just, I mean, that's what he given. Yeah, you, know, you you knew that. You you did you did know that, right? Yep. And um. Okay, fine. There's some little round thing here. I think it's a, something looking at us. Okay, so put that there, and then there was a, and there's these. Let's make these bigger. Something here and something here. I just keep I keep looking at the picture, saying, "Okay, I'll add one more thing." Um, but it's Thanksgiving in Canada, so we got to be we got to celebrate it, right, you guys? Absolutely. You know, I'll tell you what I'm thankful for. Let's 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 play that game, all right? Because it's okay. What can, are you thankful for? You know, I'm thankful that um, we're all here together and that we've gone through some rough times, all of us this year, and that we're able we're here painting together, and I'm thankful for. This group of artists that have decided to hang out with us and join us, very thankful for you guys. Appreciate you very much. Well, you took mine. Well, that was, did I take yours? Yeah. <laughs> just, just. I thought you'd be something more like, I don't know, something what, different. French fries? What? <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> something more realistic. That, 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 that they're still selling <laughs> Cheetos with your stress, right? Well. Well, okay, fine, 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 you know. Yeah, we can't thank you guys enough for being there, hanging in with us, helping each other. These have been tough times for a lot of people. And um, or a lot of our Academy members. And so it's, we appreciate you very much. And speaking of appreciation, we'd like to thank Andrew for your donations coming through the PayPal system. Thank you for the wonderful tutorials and the new website. It's perfection. Oh, not yet, Andrew. It's getting Wait better, the though. Final. It's getting better. But the final release, I'm telling you, the, the, the new stuff, the way it is done, I am just so excited about it. Well, that's good, right? Yep. Okay, so we've got some miscellaneous round things down here. And uh, there yeah, were Susan, some... yeah, if you have some ideas, go ahead and uh, use the contact us and kick it over to me. Yeah, we, yeah if you've got you know, things that we can do to improve it, we're all, all up about that. We always try to make things better. Okay. Just happy to, you know, we're happy to have your participation in our expansion of ideas because um, nobody has all the great ideas. I have most of them, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least in this household you do. <laughs> just, you know... <sighs> I'm sorry. I just you just couldn't resist that one, could you? I couldn't. I couldn't resist. Okay, it. you have a duck in. The, you have a duck in here somewhere. Wait a second. Do you see a duck? Do you? They're seeing a duck. And you're probably gonna paint the duck out before I find them. Well, I don't know. There might be a duck. But um, um, I'm really not seeing a duck. I I, I don't know if there's a duck. Um, <laughs> Let's try a little. I think these people have gone bird crazy today. Where's the duck? See? I guess I should have painted these white first. 
these little things white. There's some berries here on them. Oh, what's next for the wave and water? You have that one handy? Oh, wow. Wait till you see that. Huh? What is it? I forget. What is it? <laughs> it should be in the pile, bottom of the pile, I think. Is it? Isn't it? I left it out because we needed to show it. Do I need oh, to come over there? Not this one. No, it's not here. Oh, my queen, if I walk over there. Sure. Then you'd walk over here. What, <laughs> what do you think would happen? He'd walk over here, right? Like, wow. Right? Is not this one? No, that's not wave and water. That's that's the VLL. Wave and water will get it too. The wave and water one was um. Was it? Oh, this the next one. It's uh, it's the um. He gets confused. We have to write things down now. Of course, we always did, but you know. It's not the Venice one, is it? I thought it was Venice, wasn't it? No, no, it's 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 not Venice. What was it? That's not. It's not Venice. Venice is. Is coming, but it's not Venice yet, right? Is it the? It's not the Azores. We didn't. We, we did the Azores. I thought so. Well, we you're supposed to put these back in your room when they're done. You can show the Venice one. Let me look it up and see. But it isn't. But it isn't one. the Venice one. I know, but that's the one coming up after this one. All right. Well, we like the Venice one. <laughs> Let me just show you the Venice one. But that, it isn't. that one's November. But we. But it isn't the Venice one. Well, so it's not there, the Venice you guys. One. Let me just punch it up. Just, just just relax, people. We'll find it. Well, it's, we, it's, we have a database that has this information for us because we don't know what we're doing. Well, it, when you get, you get, um, we get so many of them. Yeah, we get a lot of them. And then, um, and we're finally going to head some. Senior Academy. And it is, it is, it is, it is, Crystal Creek in the Autumn. Yes, that one. The one with the yeah, the one with the fall colors. That one. Well, where'd that go? Oh, I think I took that back to your side. Shame Why did I do that? I give up. Why did it. you do it, John? Oh, shuzzbutt. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, why would it. you do that? Take that back. Um, we well, can still show. All right, let's get a little highlight here on this pair. Make sure you stay where you are. I'm staying where I am. I'm not going anywhere. That yellow green and that azure yellow are really pretty together. You get some good, talk about a bright green apple here, huh? And then we'll do a little bit lighter here on the back of it. So it's lighter. There we go. And the light's coming over from the top here. And, uh, there we go. All right, so let's let's so lighten exactly up some of these, was. right? So there's Octobers and Novembers. These are what do they call these little tiny apples? They call them crab apples, or there's other little crab apples. Remember those? Yes. They're not real apples. They don't really. They sort of sour. What do you mean they're not real apples? Well, they're sour. Well, they're still a crab apple. It's just a sour apple. I never yeah. ate them. You get yeah, but that, did you ever watch that? I'm going to change this one and make them little crab apples. Did you ever watch that documentary on uh, Johnny Appleseed? Do uh, you remember Walt Disney did a cartoon back when I was a kid and talked about Johnny Appleseed? And I thought he was just this um, a really neat guy that went around the United States uh, happily planting apple trees in people's yards when they weren't looking. You know, that's kind of the kind of the drift that I, as a kid, that's what I took away from the cartoon. But in actuality, when back in the time of George Washington and the settlers, early settlers here in America, you could get a, the government would give you some land to farm. But the trick was you had to um, uh, have an apple, you had to have some sort of orchard, you had to plant some sort of fruit trees. And so, um, so he went around planting orchards in people's. That was his business, was planting the orchards in uh, people's um, uh, in pe on, on the farms. And what happened was, like for instance, today if you go 
if you go uh, into a store, you'll see golden delicious apples or, um, crap, you know, all kinds of different apples, yeah? But um, if you were to, they, to get those, they have to graft them. Because if you, you get this, there's some, there's some very interesting things about how apples work, you know, in apple trees. Okay. So, all right. So far, so good? Yes and yes? It's looking perfect. Let's get a, a stem going here. That's an awfully long stem on that pear, too. I'm just saying. Huh? That's a very long stem on that pear. Well, it is, but we're just putting it anyway because it's in the book. I know. All right, have you all entered the contest for the entree? He thinks it's getting close to finished. It's just, he's such a kidder, isn't he? No, I mean, hey, we have 450-plus people, and there's only 238 entrees. Well, maybe they're looking at this and saying, you couldn't give me that with the 10-foot pole, right? They don't want it, John. They might well, not want know, it. That, that could be. It could be. That's just they're going, no, not that one. I'm holding out for... Pegasus or something. Oh, that was a good painting. Some some little fun thing back here. Yes and yes. Something this small we can just suggest a few things. And I'm using for the for the light and the cornucopia. I'm kind of do, doing more of an almost that that violet um, permanent violet for the highlights on it. And um, maybe doing some darks. Let's come back and do a for a few little darks in it back. Let's get some contrast back here. Back with this. There you go. Let's just do some something a little bit darker here, and, uh, and then maybe something a little lighter. Bring it around. And I want a little bit of kind of a peach color, I think, like a lot. So that permanent, this violet, this permanent violet, is a very pretty color, like for a highlight on this apple. That's nice. And maybe a little titanium white with that. Make that a little bit brighter. And, uh, We'll just start adding some color here now to a few things. So anyway, uh, besides working on the website, we've been working and working on new tutorials. We have been doing some, um, as you know, I'm doing personal art coaching, and I'm just amazed at the skill level. Um, that I'm seeing come out of that. I mean, everybody's, you know, every time I turn around, they just I'm just so astounded by how beautifully everything is um, being painted these days and uh, how very nice it all is. Um, so I just wanted to congratulate everybody um, on on the paintings that are showing up, and even on Facebook. You know, on our Facebook page, we. You know, um, people are posting, and I don't always, the way pace, Facebook scrolls, sometimes I'll miss your picture. It wasn't because I didn't like it. I just probably didn't see it. And um, I try to get up there at least once a day and comment on, on people's uh, artwork. Um, I really want to do that and um, tr try to do that as much as possible. And um, But nonetheless, sometimes it's possible to miss, miss stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little of that. Pamela would like to know, what is your favorite mixture to make orange flowers? I know. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you our go-to. There's some, there's some go-to colors. You want a real light orange, and you want yellows, because they're good yellows, and you want to you wanna start with a white background when you're doing something like that so that your colors are rich and vibrant. You know, that's really important, right? And... Um, so I would say that you you want to think about that, and um, uh, 
what else would I tell you that it would be would be helpful to think about? Like, where did I put that permanent violet? What is what number was that? Three forty nine. Oh. That's Carmen there. That's Carmen here. What are you? Permanent violet red. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's a nice color. It's almost a burgundy. Um, and if I put that in with the with the permanent blue violet and mix them together, get kind of a nice dark color here. And I don't the shadows along here like that on this. Um, no, Jan, you're okay for putting it in the wrong secret word. I'll just make a big point out of it, though, if you win. <laughs> John, are you hassling people again? No, ma'am. I would never do that. Okay. So, all right. So we're still still playing in here. This is fun. I hope you guys don't mind this is taking a little while to paint. It's only been out at, what, an hour, right? Yep. I mean, I thought this would take, quite frankly, mm -hmm. a lot longer. I knew it wouldn't after we discussed it, and I looked at how you were going to do it. Well, it's just good to be smart about things, isn't it, you know? I'm getting better with you. <laughs> it's good to know things. It's good to know things. Yeah, right? when you say, oh, we can do this lesson. It's going to take me two hours. And I look at it and I go, mm, that's a three-hour lesson. I've got those down because I know how to do the filming part now. So I, I pretty much got that. Yeah, okay. I like this apple here, too. I think that's a, kind of a nice apple. It's a good apple. It's a good I'm apple, not crazy right? about those crab apples. Linda ate those crab apples as a kid, those little sour things. Yuck. Yeah. So all I can say is yuck. Well, what I want to I want to make sure I put in this little uh, twig here. I think that's pretty. I'm not putting in that guy. There's a pear back there that isn't going in because it's pretty Well, small. you don't have enough of it showing. Uh, but so there just isn't. If I did this bigger, I might put in more of the stuff. I thought of all the cornucopia reference photos, I thought that was probably... This is closest one we found to reality. I'm trying to take a little bit of the dip out of this one here, like that. I gotta just pull that across and then pull this way. Well, lemon yellow is such a nice color. And speaking of longer videos, our one on Friday will probably be close to eight hours long. Yeah, right? That's what it was last time. Yeah, it was, huh? Yep. Um, Okay, to make that then some little thing here, right? When we went to China last year, uh, we were at the hotel and uh, there was a buffet, and it was interesting to see the little fruits and vegetables I didn't recognize. <laughs> Not the thing they weren't wonderful; I just had no idea what they were, right? They have different things. Well, things grow in different parts of the world, and sometimes it doesn't it doesn't pay to import them. Does that make sense? You know, you can't always, you know, import things that you might want to. Well, we got a pretty good start on this, yeah. And um, there were some leaves. You know, I, I think I will pass on the red peppers. Um, I'm just using up some of these colors because I basically I'm sort of having I hate you. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of having fun with this. Um, Let's see, I have a little, one of the Salvador paintbrushes, and maybe one of these. I want a little pointy brush, and I want to go into my dark violet and maybe ultramarine blue. And um, I want a little space between some of these in here like that. Just going to just kind of separate these out a little bit so that they showed up a little better. And I think as long as I've got this little pointy brush, I want to pull this. Branch like this. And um, I want to see some white, maybe. And uh, purple. So this permanent, it's kind of a violet, it was sort of a purpley violet. These leaves were sort of this, right? So they go using just a, a, a brush that points. And a little bit of paint right there, see? That's nice. I thought that was sort of pretty. 
a little bit like that and um, let's come back up here and um, find what else did we find here the Oh, remember that uh, to be sure to enter the contest, we're going to, um, in order to celebrate uh, the uh, the new um, the the new and improved website uh, tonight, we're also going to be giving away um, besides this th th this painting, the Salvador paint set, uh, which is the gift from Salvador Paint itself. Now, remember, if you want to own a set like that with the discount coupon from Amazon and you go to our store 15% um, off of 25 it's really you know less than you get all that paint for pretty 20 bucks, pretty, under 20 20 bucks. bucks. I mean it's really a good deal I mean I, I, absolutely no question about it um, uh, what else are you giving away you said uh, we're giving away um, a, a what else should we give away John the pumpkin thing you still have the painting? There? Oh, the which one? The pumpkin painting. Oh yeah, the pumpkin painting, the downloadable pumpkin painting lesson. Yeah, I don't yeah, know where that is, but. Do I take that back too? Oh, I okay. You want to give me a second here, and I'll show the the wave of oh, water. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Because I've got to dry, let me dry this, and then we'll do some final steps on it. Yeah. We're getting close, right? Yeah, getting okay. close. All right, so here's the wave of water release for this month. That John Shaw's to release for the for October. That's the Wave and Water Master Crystal Class. Crystal Creek. Crystal Creek, and um, I think that's a really nice like way to one. do the river and, um, the, and get the depth. Get the depth. That's a cool painting, isn't it? Isn't that neat? I like that so one. That's that's one, and then that's October's. And then this one's November's. And this is November's, the Venice. How, that was a long one. That's a long. That I love this one, and it's really a great one on buildings. I know Andrew had asked for more buildings. This is. Coming up in November, Andrew, for those of you who wanted to know about that. And the neat thing about it, once you understand how to paint this, there's a lot of, there's thousands of photographs out there. People, Venice is one of the most photographed places in the world. And once you kind of get the gist of how to paint this, then you might want to try one on your own from a photograph and see how you did. But, you know, check this one out. It's our second. We have three Venice. This will be the third Venice piece we have on our Wave and Water Masterclass. We like Venice. We like Venice, yeah. Almost made it there. And then it was scheduled. Was this this is the the Halloween one? We will be giving away the tutorial downloadable lesson for this tonight to someone yep. and own it. And um, you can that's keep cool. it or gift it to somebody. But um, we think that's really fun, and uh, we that's in available on on our for our um, on our website. It's free, you know that you can. But if you want to own it and download it, this is it's over there in the store and it's. On, and normally it's a thirty dollar lesson on sale, but anyway, we're giving this away to one downloadable, giving that away. Okay. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. All right, I love that one. Yeah. Again, this is different style of painting. This is more impressionistic. Um, this is a little bit impressionistic, but done in kind of a different style where we kind of try to simplify things. I'm going to take a little. I want this is a little bright for me. So I'm going to use some satin golden glazing liquid. Someone asked me the other day, what's the purpose of glazing? You can use um, water and paint, make like a tea stain and glaze back anything. But if you really want to go thin and translucent, um, you, you want glazing medium. So you so, want to really make sure it binds. Yeah, so I want, I want this to be a little bit darker than I have it. So I'm going to try... Um, uh, what I, I think I'm going to try a little bit of uh, yellow with that. Maybe this one. See what that does. That's that um, yellow oak. This is yellow, hazel yellow. Okay, it's a very thin paint anyway. I'm going to glaze over this a little bit. Oh, I, I like that color. What color did you use? That's called hazel yellow. Ah. Let's see, and I kind of glazed it over, and I couldn't, you know what I mean, it just... It wasn't slapping you in the face with that bright white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really white white, but it and, was... And, um, yeah, it didn't just, I didn't dry it first, probably, that was risky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're a risky person. I guess I am. This I'm take, I like that color, where else could I put it? Let's try it on this pear. That was fun. Okay, that's ooh, that kind of brighten that up. How about this? What do you got, you guys over here? Oh, isn't that pretty? 
Ah, uh, let's do that. That's fun. All right. We could, you know, we brightened up some stuff, yeah? All right, so, um, and that's the thing, too. We could do a little bit of that. Here's that. That's that really cool transparent yellow. See, how would I do that on this? This apple. Ooh, it gives it a glow. Look at that, doesn't it? Isn't it done for that apple? How about you? Wake up. Wakes everybody up, doesn't it? That's kind of fun. It, um, then if you get it, you can always lift it off. If you decided it's too much, you can rinse it and lift it up a little bit. I'm going to just lift it up. I want something a little brighter. In spite of all of that, I want something a little brighter on this. Um, just do something a little bit brighter on this edge, on that cornucopia thing. There you go. A little bit lighter here, even though it's not in the photo like that. I just felt it needed to be do a little you, brighter. Do you and Ginger think you'll ever be able to cruise again? I saw there are cruise ships that were being sold for scrap. That's true. We will cruise probably in 22. Yeah, there's not, um, there's nothing really. Um, they haven't perfected it yet. There's not a vaccine out yet. We're of that age that so we're not supposed to be doing foolish things, they say. Okay. So we'll wait. We're patient. Yeah, we're patient. We'll wait. We're happy to. Um, we got plenty to do. We got plenty to do, right? Yes and yes. We do. We have plenty to do. So we're getting close to the end of this. I'm just playing with all the toys here because I can. All right, we're going to be ready for final calls here, folks. Final calls. Get your entree in. We're going for a, the painting, the Salvador paint kit, and a downloadable of the pumpkins. Well, we have a lot more people sign up for the 301. Well, that's good, right? Oh, there's this brush. I'm fishing around in the water for it. And uh, there's the brush right there. Mm. Um, How many times have you done that? I will not well, answer that. Who's counting, right? No, I'm not counting. Are you, are you counting? Mm -hmm. No, no. But I tell you what, with that uh, with the Art Sherpa paint, I've been able to save every single one of them. Her br her soap. Her Art Sherpa brush. Her br uh, brush soap. Oh, oh I yeah. Yeah. If you guys have not got that Art Sherpa brush stroke thing, soap, that is the best. I can no. bring back a brush that's been sitting there for a week with paint on it. Yeah, that is um, fully dried. It's that's a that's kind of a must-have, and they're shipping out. I'm pretty sure. Um, let me take some red and yellow and see what I get here. You talked to her the other day. Are they back in production? Um, I I think they still have some. Okay. They're, they're shipping out some you know some other things, but they but they're going to continue to make it. No, I hope so. And that's it is stuff. the real thing. It has to be to, to you know that other people have tried to mimic them. But it is not the same. Uh, so just just want to mention that that is the real, that's the real stuff what they make. And uh, Cinnamon invented it. And uh, you know you gotta you gotta brag about your kids once in a while. And I'm bragging about that because I think it's pretty. John and I were so impressed with it, weren't we? Yeah. And um, you you. It works good. Reds are one of those colors. I'm not totally happy with the with the highlight on this apple, but I'll get there. This, this apple needs a better highlight. There you go. Okay. That's better. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to get ready to sign this pretty quick. It's a little fast thing. If you, you could probably spend two or three hours painting one like this and just go back and remember the reference photo is in the is um, uh, available for basic and up on our beginner academy and the easiest way to find that is to go to gingercooklive.gallery and scroll down the front page and it'll take a button it'll take you right over there so that we have the figured out that that's out a again. one 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 stop all one stop fits all kind of thing right All right. Ginger, are you using these paints, the Salvador paints in the Academy, instead of the Golden? No. I use nope. most, on the Academy, on the big pictures, I'm using mostly Holbein. Um, 
I'll tell you Holbein and Golden. Uh, Holbein and Golden. And, but I have a lot of Matisse left, and I've got some Liquitex. I prof I'm using Professional Heavy Body. I'm just doing YouTube with these um, because we're doing little. And you can see, I mean, they're nice. They, you know, if I have to stop and mix a lot of colors, this is, this is lovely. Like, for instance, how would you mix Burgundy? If you didn't have this, how would you mix Burgundy? Well, Burgundy is kind of a wine red color. So if you had... Um, naphtha crimson and a little ultramarine blue, you could make a pretty nice burgundy. Yes and yes? I would think so. Um, for instance, how would you, if you wanted um, a, you know, a bright lime green like this, you'd start to start with phthalo blue, green shade, right? Um, and um, then you'd have to have white and yellow, and you could make a beautiful light green color. So most colors, I mean, it's pretty easy to make most colors. You know, I've got to tell you that. It just, it just is. Um, but um, sometimes, um, you know, if you do, you know, if you're doing, this is very convenient to have all these bright little happy colors. Yes and yes. There you go. See, we just keep uh, we just keep uh, playing, and then I want a little bit of a dark blue back here. I think behind well, a little bit of a shadow right here, dark blue, right behind this apple right here, like that. If I put a little shadow there, there's this old thing wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if I put a little shadow there, and then blend that out up into the sky like that. I wanted just a little bit of something dark right there because I need something kind of light on the top of of this one. See up here, I want something lighter up here. You know, on top of that cornucopia, so that just go up here like that. Just something a little lighter. Wasn't as light as I wanted. And so there, there you go. All right, so we're getting pretty ready to do this, right? And uh, I think we're in good shape here, John. Make something a little bit lighter underneath the... Um, uh, so here, we'll take some of this white and come back over here to this sort of violet color, right? And uh, let's add a little bit of blue to that. Let's try some blue here. There we go. So I use, I've got this blue out. Might as well make the color. There's a sort of blue-gray color. There we go. See, see what happened here when we did that? There you go. I'm going to call this uh, finished for now. And I um, hope this was fun. Was this kind of neat? That's a nice-looking piece, my lady. Is it? Yep. Thank you. And uh, so somebody should win this. Well, somebody should. I think somebody should win this. Do you, you think so, too? I, I am So, I mean, here's the, kind of the reference photo. You kind of see that, right? Kind of a jumble of everything, right? Like they couldn't decide what to do, and they dumped the grocery bag out, right? <laughs> so we, we, did, a, we did a little editing and said, okay, that's nice, but maybe you don't want all of that. And I still, still think grapes would have been nice, but, you know, we kind of followed the, kind of followed the reference photo, you know, which we wanted to do. And... Um, and then that's good too, right? So um, go ahead and draw for this, John. I'm just doing the last little. All right. Final. Go to random.org and we will pick a number at random. That's why it's called random.org. Lighten those up, and we'll. When this dries, I'll sign it. I I don't want to sign. Well, I can sign it right there. I guess there's nothing there. Thanksgiving Day painting. Yeah, cornucopia. You know. How fun. We hope everybody enjoyed painting along. Anybody paint along? I saw one person was. I think Susan always paints along. She does. Yep. We have one brave soul that likes to do it. Okay. Well, there you go. This was something fun. I, th I thought, I don't know. I thought that you guys thought this was fun to do. And uh, we appreciate everybody that um, that hung out with us tonight. We wish every, our Canadians a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we're certainly... Um, uh, looking forward to Friday night. I hope you guys join us then for the live auction, and we're gonna start. We're gonna start. Um, 
4 o'clock. Is that what you're going to say? Is that what I was going to say? I wasn't sure, but I figured you would put the... <laughs> Starting at 4. Put that hey, in, we have right? a winner. We have a winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, no Oh, turkey kidding. dinner. All right. Paulette, uh, Paulette Bradshaw. Congratulations, Miss Paulette. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Congratulations. I'm really pleased. That's terrific. And now we're going to go for the Salvador paint kit. Which is one like this with the extra brushes and all the good stuff. Not already opened and squeezed out. Yeah, the brand new one. Yes and yes. Right from the Salvador people. Yeah. But we're mm -hmm. going to the other end of the list here. It has all the colors in the rainbow here, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? I love it. You used them all. Just definitely an artist. This is an artist going to cornucopia. Yeah. Maybe I should do one with just paint tubes and paint. Say what now? Do a cornucopia with just paint tubes and paint. Oh. Well, <laughs> you have to you know, just, he doesn't get it, you guys. <laughs> All right, you you can see I'm jumping on that one, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> who won the... Um, uh, winner of the Salvador, Salvador paint kit is... Karen Chandler. Karen, again, where's Karen from? Well, yeah, that's a valid question. Uh, she's from planet Earth. Mm. Um, Ar Arkansas. Arkansas. Where was the other lady from? I don't know. Let's go find out. We want to know these things, don't we? It's a global audience. People oh, want to know. Oh, this would be a British Columbia. Oh, well, isn't that perfect then? That would be a Canadian individual. So that's perfect. So if you're going to have celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving, you have a Canadian so picture. So you celebrate like, it this, each and every This is year. the universe giving this to you because we don't, we don't say, oh, let's find the Canadian tonight. We, we just random doc word picks these. So we isn't don't, we that don't pick clever? Them. We don't pick them. We push a button and it says, give me a number, and I scroll, scroll find the number. So that was, it was meant to be. So, and who has won the... Um, the downloadable lesson. Which is where... You had it earlier. I have it right here. I have it. Oh, do you know what the release is for this week for the Academy? <sighs> but, but, well, let's find out who won the downloadable lesson. Who won this? Hold on, I've got to back it out a little because it's bigger than your little picture. There we okay. go. Uh, that was Joyce Marsden. Mars Marsden. Marsden. Joyce Marsden. We'll Congratulations, Joyce. That's wonderful. So you want to use the contact us and... Um, and I'll tell you how to do it. But I've got to, I'm still working on a, a, a way to do this good. Winner... Uh, and where's Joyce from, John? Uh, oh, Clearwater, Florida. Wow, well, okay. Florida oh, it gets quite... You know, Florida's got quite a magnet for that for us. Have you noticed that? A lot of things have gone to Florida recently. Well... Because we're not going to Florida, that's why. That's probably true. All right, so that's... that's um, uh, Joyce, since you've won that, um, incidentally, here's what the brush set looks like that goes with the Salvador paints, the 12 brushes. And um, let me put her name in here. So Winner, that's uh, really cool. And uh, we've yeah, got, like I say, this our last, uh, this over the weekend we released. Um, there you go, Joyce. Congratulations, Miss Joyce. Friday we released our sheep. Here, I'm going to show you guys oh, that. I love the that, sheep. that was in the Academy. That was the most recent Academy release was the sheep in the New Zealand sheep, and um, which we think is really pretty. And it, I've seen some of these come back. They're really nice. And that's a 12 by 12 canvas. That's an Academy lesson. And, um, you know, for less than a dollar a day, you can be a member of the Academy with personal art coaching, or you can join the beginner artist one for uh, 50 cents a day. Yeah, just saying, pretty neat. So, um, all right, so that's our, we don't know what we're doing for this week. Oh, you want me to punch it up? Do you remember what it was? Uh, <laughs> I, I know it's something. Was it, the, was it the piano, was it? Oh, you keep pushing the piano. I think it was. I think it is Julia. Julia, the pian on the piano? Yep. Oh, we should show you that real quick before you go. You guys will want to see this. Yeah, you make sure you hang around. Yeah, I mean, some of you are going to bail because you didn't win anything. Well, I'll tell you what, um, if you hang in with yep. the... Julie Sonata. Ju Julie Sonata is uh, 
it sounds like you said Julie Snotty, but no, no it's Julie not Sin Julie Sonata. <laughs> just Julie Sonata is that and this is an you guys have asked for some more of our old dead artist uh, tutorials, and this one um, is an artist that we've uh, featured before. But I found this painting of his and thought it went so well with the lady and the guitar. And, I'll put it up, uh, yeah, because I'm nowhere near big enough for that. Yeah, John's got to back out. This is a 20 by 20. We had to do it larger so that you could um, really, really get the details it. on it. Sometimes it's hard to get details in something this small. So you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Look at that. That's Julie Sonata. That's Julie. this week's lesson. That's this week's lesson. It'll be sometime um, toward the end of the week, usually Friday, Saturday, something like that. Yeah, it depends on how big it ends up being and how I get it uploaded and stuff. So it may, may take us a while, but may, we'll get this one. That's the next one coming up. You know, yep. look for that in the Academy. The sheep were this week, and this is Julie Sonata was the next one, and we thought you'd still get get painted in time for the holidays. All right. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. So again, you guys, thanks very much. Thanks our moderators for hanging out with us. Thanks, moderator, for hanging out and, with and, us. And happy Thanksgiving, Canada. And uh, we'll see you, see you Friday. Friday, 4 p.m. Central. We're going to start it off for an eight-hour marathon auction site. Be sure to sign up early if you plan on participating. GingerCookAuction.com. All right. See you later. Thanks, then. everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. I want to give them funnies. We got funnies today. I re-edited the funnies. Oh, we got more funnies at we the end? Funnies. Oh, good. So, well, get, hope you have a good laugh. Bye, everyone. Bye. One of the features that is offered on our website for, and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay. Then, you're, then, then we'll I said, there's the robot. <laughs> Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Yeah. <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> our robotic what? <laughs> oh, yes. Is the robot the option of. Let me try. <laughs> it's a robot. Bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic bidding system. Um, to bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. Okay, I don't know how I can't. So close. <laughs> so close. Almost had it. God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie be there. With a first oh, we could never afford this. We could afford oh. this. All right. The, the budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. the hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. <laughs>